Hey guys, and today I wanted to come to you with a uh, development tutorial. Yes, I'm on kind of a kick of doing these at the moment, and yes, for those of you who don't like them, there will there will be more non-development related other tech com tech coming soon. But I'm off on holiday at the moment, so I'm kind of on a kick of learning new stuff and doing development tutorials. So with that said, we're just going to dive into what we're doing today. Uh, uh, I I've previously uh, only been able to, uh, 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 previously when I've tried to explain this, done it in just under half an hour. So we're, I'm going to try and race for it with you now, and we're going to try and get this done in under 10 minutes. So let's see how we do. We're just going to dive in. Uh, a couple of things. We're going to be using PHP sessions to accomplish this. So you're going you're gonna to need some HTML and CSS knowledge to do this. We're, we're not going to... Um, PHP is a server-side technology, and that's what we're going to be using today. So you're going to need to be on a server or developing locally like I am. Uh, before we start, I also need to mention this isn't a bulletproof technology. If you've got really, really sensitive information, you need, you need to do more uh, in detailed screening than this. This is just a simple um, login system that m most people aren't going to be able to get past, and it's a it's a great way to play with PHP sessions. So that's what we're going to do today. And I've, or I've already wasted two minutes talking, so we're just going to dive in. Uh, um, so if we look, this is, this is the page we're going to be using. It's the page we're going to be password protecting. It is currently not password protected, so anyone can visit this page. Uh, it's important to notice that this the uh, this is just text and some links, but the content of this page could be could be anything you want, and you could also do it with multiple pages. We just can be doing it with one page, but you could apply the technique to multiple pages. We've um, if we open our text editor, we've got um, this page is very simple markup, no PHP on it yet, but we've got the PHP extension on our on our index file. And that's what's generating this page. So we've got a link, link to our style sheet and, and not much else really. Um, I've also pre-created a login.php file. And that's just um, some HTML which offers up a login form. Some important things to notice here though are that um, the label and the input that takes the password is a password input, so it'll it'll obscure the look. Um, in, and it's got a name of pass that also matches with the four attribute attribute on the label. That's an important thing for uh, validity of HTML. Uh, and also noticed this is a login dot php file, and it submits the login dot php file, so that is going to submit to itself. Um, the the, the the first, the first thing we're going we're gonna to do is lock people out if, if they haven't already logged in. So let, let's just get started. Like I said, before, this has already been nearly five minutes, so I need, I need to get started. Um, so we're going to go back to our index.php file and write our opening PHP tags right before the doc tag because PHP gets rendered by the by the by the server and doesn't get passed to the browser. So for this to validate we need to be there to be no space between our closing PHP and our doc type. So to be able to use sessions on any any page that you want to use them you have to include um this session start command. Uh, and once, once, once that's there, you can now use sessions. Um, so what we're gonna do when 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 someone visits visits this page? Well, well, what we are gonna do is check if they already have a session because if they don't, we're gonna send them to login page. So if 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 they do, they can visit this page. So. The way we're going to do that is using the PHP if 
if statement. So if and the, the syntax for session is it's what's called a global variable in PHP. So um dollar sign underscore session in covered letters and then we need to put in here what the name of our session is going to be what what we're going to use to check if this person has already been, been through that process now um the the this the session is stored on the server and it's stored there until we get rid of it so we need to think of a unique thing that's not used in anywhere else in our web application, um, seeing as we're not using it anywhere else, that's not that important. But we're just going to say PHP, and you can't use any PP, and you can't use any spaces or dashes. Logged in, and we're going to say if if that session. Is even set. So we're going to use the is set um, function to check if it's set. So so if it exists, what we're going to do is um. Uh, uh, let, let you let you view the page because the only way it can exist is if if we've already logged in successfully. So what we're actually saying up to is if it doesn't exist, which is this exclamation mark, because it's much more likely uh, not to exist than it is to exist. Um, at least w when we first start. So what we're gonna do if it doesn't exist? Well, obviously we don't want them to view this page. So um. We we need to stop from doing that. What we're going to do is send them to the login.php page, and as you can see, it's in the same directory. So all we need to do is say um, header, and then two quotes location. And that's what you do if you want to send somebody somewhere in PHP with say the location is login dot PHP. Now um what we need to do now though is deal with the eventuality that they that they are are logged in and we need we need to let them view the site obviously so um what 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 we're gonna do then is say else so we've we've checked whether they're not logged in so if they are we're just gonna say else and this colon and then when you put a colon you can just put HTML in between it and then and then have that so and then that will print out between where the colons are so we've we put an else right at the start so we're going to put PHP and if right at the bottom so we're going to say save that and what what that's going to say is going to start the session it's going to check if we don't have a session called uh, PPP logged in and if we don't it's going to send us to the login page if we do it's going to show us the page with the secret content um, so now we need to go over to our login page and, and write in how we're going to deal with this so what we're going to do is again right before the doc type Open our PHP.
I'm running a bit over on time, but I'm trying my best to keep this concise for you guys. We're just gonna say. session start again now normally what you do if you when you wanted to um, we, we need to set up what the password is going to be because we need we need something for our PSP to check against normally you'd get this from the database but again this is a simple site so we're just going to set up our um, password in a variable and that's what we need to check and our pass is going to be equal to test but it's not just going to be equal to the string it's going to be equal to the MD5 of the string MD5 is an extra security layer it converts this string into um, a big long string of characters and then can then decode it so we're going to say um, our pass equals whatever the MD5 value is of test because that can that's going to be our password. So now we need we need to check if what if anything's been passed to us as part of this login.php. We need to process it. And so when when this form is submitted, because the action is login.php, the file will run. So so we need to check if anything's been passed to us. And the way we can do that is say if. underscore request and then we need the name of the um, input so we say we set it to a name of pass uh, down in that pass password input so that's what we're going to use so say if there even is a name of pass Is and it's exactly equal to the password. Then we're gonna do something. But you're thinking, wait a minute, we've we've set the password that's gonna be checked against to the MD5 version of test. So we need we need to we need to MD5 whatever the user inputted before we even check it. So I'm just going to say MD5. So we're going to MD5 the value of whatever the user inputted. And if it's equal to the password that we set. I'm going on for 20 minutes. Sorry guys, I'm going as fast as I can. Um, then what we're going to do? So if it's if this does return true, we have, we need to set up that system so that when it gets to our login dot PHP file, our login knows to let us in. So um, to do that, we're just going to set. session and then the name of our system we want to create so we called it ppp underscore log in and you don't have to because it exists if you do that but in our case we're just going to set it equal to true just just make the code a bit easier to read so it's equal to something and we know no, do that so after we've created the session what do we want to do then we'll, we want to redirect the user back to the index.php file because we want to um, that's what checks for this session variable but it'll now, it'll now exist because we just uh, wrote it in so
So I'm going to send them back to the index.plp file once the um, web password is validated. But we need to set up a a statement for the the other eventual the other eventuality, i.e., the password doesn't validate because that's that's equally as likely. So um, we're just going to say else, and then we're going to put a a um, opening colon. Then we're going to end up here, pretty, and then. Right at the end of our HTML, we're going to put end if. So if our password was invalid, which is which is going to print out the whole thing again. So the form is going to be printed out until we get the right password. So it's only going to send us to the header.pp file when the and when the password is validated and the only way the index.php file is going to know that we've been to the login.php file and passed this condition is when we have this session of pp logged in um, so, so with, 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 just that, with just that little bit of code we should have set up our login system but I want to set up the ability to, to log out. So obviously, where you're going to log out from is where you log in, where you log into. So um, what we're going to do is just set up a link, and I'm going to do it up here. I'm going just as long again. I'm really sorry about the long, the long time, guys. So, we're going to say a href. And the href is really important because it's what's going to tell our PHP where to go to. So, um, we, we, we need to take account of that. Um, so, how, we're, how are we going to pass something to our PHP we can use? Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to pass it to the question mark so as the link for our page is going to be question mark q equals uh, true you'll see how you'll see how this works I mean, but I, I don't want to spend a bunch of time explaining it because, um, like I say, we're running, we're already out of time really, but and um, where's that? Where's that going to go to when that post will? will it's just going to load past past that to the page we're currently on because we haven't told it another page to link to so we need to prepare for that eventually we're, we're going to do it up here before we check whether we're logged in or not we're going to say it's 19 hours if Is set get and what what will have been passed to us as part of this query is the variable and the reason why we're using get is that's how we get things out of query strings. This is this question mark Q thing is a query string. So to get things out of query string, we need to use get. So we say if if we find the variable q because that's what passed to us and we don't need to check if it's true or not because we know if it exists it'll be true so if we even find that that must mean the user, the user wants to log out so um, what we're going to do in that eventuality 
is just do first we're gonna do what they asked us to do and we're gonna run a function called session destroy that's gonna get rid of all the sessions and because we're only using one session it doesn't really matter but even if they're not really logged in anymore we're still on the page so they're still on the page so we're just gonna send them back to the login page by saying header location login not PHP. Let's save that and oh no silly me we haven't ended our if statement. We don't need an else because if if it it doesn't find a thing of Q then we know the person didn't want to log out so we don't need an else statement. Save that. Go over and refresh. Because I've done this tutorial a bunch of times, this session should already exist. So when I refresh, I should get a logout link. If we press that, I should be taken back to the home page. And I, sh I shouldn't be able to get I shouldn't be able to get back to the index page. It should just keep redirecting me to to the login page. So that's that. So if I enter something completely wrong, uh, we we notice that we don't go anywhere. But if I enter in the right um, credentials, we, we, we just call test. Uh, I'm in there. So that's basically how to password to take the page. The basic version in PHP. I tried really hard to keep this tutorial short, but I wasn't successful. It was gone nearly half an hour again it, it might be even longer than, than the first attempt I did but I hope you've enjoyed it hope you got something out of it and re remember this isn't a foolproof solution it's the simple solution allows you to fool around with sessions and um, do that so if, if you um, were looking at this and you enjoyed it but you, you didn't quite understand what, what I did I'm gonna have full commented source code and the, those complete files so you can open them on, on your computer and look at them um, oh, all, you, all you want coming up so be sure to visit tomdashrogers.com for that tomdashrogers.com anyway guys hope you've enjoyed hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and visit my, visit my website if you want thanks for watching goodbye